So we have our decks. Now let's see how we can actually connect them. Now the trick is when we join a room and when we instantiate the game manager, then we instantiate a network print. On that network print, print we now pass an empty byte array object. Okay, instead of passing an empty array object, we're now going to be passing an array with all the, our starting cards. So, how do we do this? Real easy. We're going to go in, first of all, we need to know which deck we're going to be using. So, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to just put a public string over here and I'm going to say current deck. Let's call this deck one and we know we're going to name it deck one. Okay, and then I'm going to find my deck manager and we're going to find it again from loading uh, from resources dot load okay uh, let's create a method that will return us the deck now I'm going to be slightly dirty with this and I'm just going to do for each deck in D index if string dot equals d dot identifier is the same as the id return the deck otherwise return null and on my network manager now because I don't want to get huge error to this I'm going to first create my byte array object going to call it data okay and here it is we're going to pass the data we're going to look for uh, our deck now so deck deck manager the deck we have can be the current deck okay then if the deck is not null on my data I'm going to say write data and the object I want to pass it, this has this only gets uh, primitives so that means we have to pass we can pass the cards because it's an it's a string array we can just pass the cards okay however if it doesn't have, it doesn't find the deck because you write the ID wrong. Maybe when this is fleshed out completely, you could select your decks. So this wouldn't be an issue, obviously. Okay, so I'm just going to hack old two strings. So I'm going to say L, new string with just two values. Zero one will be creature and one will be resources and I'm going to write that as data okay but yeah obviously we know that this is not really going to be an issue resource I think it's called not creature uh, not resources okay so this now uh, when instantiates the network print for each of our player it's going to actually give him some uh, instantiation data which this helps us once we are in here not only we have the ID we now basically can populate the cards we have here we can populate it with uh, what we have from the instantiation data since these are uh, an array of strings this can just be we don't even need this anymore to be honest can say cards and then instantiation data read data and we know that in any case the first thing we're going to get from the read data is going to be an array of strings and that is our cards and then this will in turn add the player with this and then everyone should have and should spawn its cards you have okay only trick to this is to have 
a deck or already be called deck one once you start the game okay so let's start the entire the correct loop let's start with this let's hit play okay i'm going to click deck builder i'm going to add only resources card and i'm going to scroll deck one okay i'm going to save didn't click save now i click save i'm going to join room we don't get any errors which means of course until there's another player we're not going to be able to see any cards obviously so since we don't get any errors now we're, it's safe to just save and do build and run so with this we will also have an actual I think the only thing that's missing uh, apart from general policing obviously is uh, the spell functionality and maybe fixing the block well not maybe fixing the block okay and then we will have a complete game so I'm going to go on the first one and I'm going to just add these guys and I'm going to call this deck one remember the name now is kind of important so I'm going to click join room I'm going to leave it there on the deck builder for this I'm going to add only resources and I'm going to click deck one save and join room okay and turn and turn and turn and we will see that there is only one thing the only cards we've added so there it is we now have sync decks across across our two games okay so that there it is that's your deck builder so now you actually have a complete game with only two issues missing with only two things missing fixing the block which will be priority for the next part and fixing the yeah and maybe adding spells okay so let's finish with this part because i think that is complete for now and on the next one we'll fix the blog so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff more videos more series more of this then consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making i'll see you next time